Hi, in this Tech Ticker tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom brush using Microsoft Expression Design 2. This tutorial also uh, applies to Microsoft Expression Design 1 and Microsoft Expression Design 3. Ok, so what I've done is I've just created a basic kind of um, thing that I'm going to make into a brush stroke which can then be applied around the, uh, around the outside of a um, ellipse or a square or any custom vector artwork that I make in expression design. Now all I have to do is click on object, click on stroke and new stroke definition. This now creates it in kind of a new window everything just I'm going to include in my brush. And all I have to do is to finish making this brush is go down file save give it a name so circles test and how about we stick it in graphics and then I can change the default width and I'm just going to change that to 150 ok now back in here we don't need this anymore, if we, if we modify this it doesn't do anything. Ok so let's create a square, uh, we'll give it no fill, and then we're going to give it the custom brush, and i just close that up a moment, and then we go down into graphics, and there's our little and there we go, custom stroke. Looks a bit weird, very, very, very weird, but nevertheless, it is reasonably interesting. All right, now let's see what happens if we actually, if we just get rid of those two things, uh, transform. Rotate 180 degrees. Oh, we can't seem to be able to delete that for some reason. Alright, we'll, we'll uh, do it the proper way. So, just a summary of how to do this again go on object, stroke, new stroke definition, uh, file save and we'll call this one circles test 2 and let's stick that again in graphics ok let's go back and we'll try it this time ok so there's our newer one now you see the difference between the two it's very important what way you get this around Thanks for watching this Tech Ticker tutorial.